One of the questions that comes up all the bloody time when talking to people about the simulation theory is, well, the simulation hypothesis is impossible because there isn't enough computing power to run a simulation. They repeat this second-hand information like it's gospel because it's famously said that in order to run a simulation of the universe, you would need a computer as big as the universe. Which would suggest that simulation theory is dead on arrival, like a mail order budgie. The question is, if this is a simulation, how on earth is it rendered? But I know a little secret. Stick with me as I explain how video games give us the answer. So the next time you tell someone about the simulation theory and they say this, to run a simulation of the universe, you'd need a computer the size of the universe. You will have the artillery to tell them that they're more wrong than James Corden dressed up as a rat dancing in the street. Let's get low. Oh wow, they're causing all that pipping. Do you know what I mean? Someone's trying to get to hospital. The gram's dying. They're in the road. Hey, 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 get out the fucking road. But I don't need to diss this idea too much. It's fairly simple to debunk. And in the future, when it's known outright that this is a simulated reality, like a VR MMO RPG video game, I will be heralded as a forward thinking genius. But you already know that. I mean, you know, I already am. But unlike Copernicus, I would actually like to be around to see it. I hope they don't bring back the guillotine in the future for heretical views, because then if they cut my head off, I really would be ahead of my time. Because video games may give us the answer to this question already about how to render an entire universe. The universe that you and I are currently inside. Now, let me just confuse the hell out of you by saying rather smugly, I agree with the man who said that to simulate an entire universe would require a computer the size of the universe. Like a good tree, it would. If it was rendering the entire universe, but it isn't. That is not IMO how it's rendered. This person is guessing that the universe is rendered all in one go by some big ass mother fudging computer. Nope. What a waste of energy that is, right? Nah, I reckon they're more eco-conscious in the future. Reminds me of this hippie girl I used to know. Great eco-friendly body, very little waste. It's a bit like the jokes on this channel. All the best ones are recycled. Rather than this simulation being powered all in one go by one big computer, rather, I think, just like video games, it's powered by our own individual devices in base reality. Think about it for flip flops sake. When you play an online video game, it's not one computer that simulates all of Call of Duty Warzone, is it? No, every player has their own computer rendering just their own experience. No one else's. You only look out of the eyes of the character that you are playing as via the screen. That's why I think more than this being a simulation, this is in fact a video game that we're all inside. Being rendered by our own individual computers in base reality. Let me give you an even better analogy. Think of it like your PlayStation or Xbox or PC. It sits in base reality, but then you hook up your VR headset to it and you go inside the game. But the PlayStation is still on the outside in base reality. Simulating what you're seeing on the inside. But... But, 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 but. How does a video game render the world inside the video game? Good question. When you play a video game, the computer only animates a tiny part of the world that you're actually in. It doesn't simulate the entire universe at once because there's no point in animating even what's behind your character. That is a waste of processing power. It only renders the part of the world that your character can see. It only renders the part where your character is, which is about 0.1% of the entire map. The rest of the world is there, but the computing power is only rendered on the tiny area that you are in and can see or observed, which is what quantum physicists would say. Easy for you to say. 
I quote from the Guardian newspaper. The simulation hypothesis also accounts for peculiarities in quantum mechanics, whereby things only become defined when they are observed, said Max Tegmark, a professor of physics at MIT. That's this geezer here who looks like the demon headmaster. What a great show. Quote, for decades, it's been a problem. Scientists have bent over backwards to eliminate the idea that we need a conscious observer. Maybe the real solution is you do need a conscious entity like a conscious player of a video game, he said. First, it provides a scientific basis for some kind of afterlife or larger domain of reality above our world. You don't need a miracle, faith or anything special to believe it. It comes naturally out of the laws of physics, he said. Second, it means we will soon have the same ability to create our own simulations. See, it's not just me saying this. I've got scientists coming out in their droves to agree with me. So, we can now answer the classic question. Does a tree make a noise in the forest if nobody is around to hear it? No, it doesn't. Because it wasn't rendered. It only makes a noise if it was observed by someone conscious like us. Because there's no need to waste computing power on something that isn't being observed. Remember, we are not the simulation, we are the player. We are inside the simulation, we are the player of our avatar. Your entire physical flesh, body, organs and brain are part of the simulation. But your mind, your consciousness, that bit that you think with, is not part of the simulation. That bit will carry on and go back to base reality when your avatar dies. We, you and I, are the universe experiencing itself. Life is basically a game for some immortal beings. Think of it as a mandatory or fun activity that we have chosen as immortal beings. Life is a video game and that was how it's rendered.